Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. I hope you're doing okay. Sometimes our friends ask us to do things like look after their house, even their pets. And as good friends, we're more than happy to do that. But I tell you where I draw the line. And that is looking after a house when I know there is a serial killer on the run in my neighbourhood. It's just not going to happen. Well in this game, Danny's house, that's exactly what's going to be happening. So let's jump straight into the game. You must be Danny. Creepy. Start the game. Okay. Oh, hello, Pooch. Hello. So in this game, we are asked to look after a friend's dog. And... Apparently, there is a serial killer on the loose. So let's turn on all the lights because that's what we've been asked to do. And also, um, I'd quite like to know what's going on. I don't know what's happening there. Is this a room or what? You actually have to like push the doors open. Which is interesting. A bit tricky to get the hang of. Ah, so it's a big old loop of a building. Hello, pooch. What's the matter, boy? So yeah, as I say, we're looking after a friend's house. Thank you, Green. Uh, thank you again for agreeing to watch Ginger tonight. She really seems to be to hate bad weather, so I'm not too sure how she'll react to the storm later. I hope she doesn't give you too much trouble. I'm sure she won't. Seems like a lovely dog. P.S. I had to leave in a rush earlier, so there are some dishes in the kitchen. I didn't have time to put away. If you clean up a little for me, I'll pay you extra. Thanks again, and please make yourself at home, Mary. Thank you very much, Mary. Okay. Um, are we just putting them in the sink? Or... Like, where are we actually putting them? Let's just collect them all. I don't think I can collect these ones. Um, where'd you put them? Oh, we've got a zoom. Well, and we can jump as well. Why would we need to be able to jump? There we go. Let's get this place looking lovely. I mean, shouldn't we, like, rinse them off a little bit? I don't know. I don't like this news. If I have to do this one by one, it's a little bit slow. Oh god. Someone's calling. How old is this phone? Hey, it's me, Mary. I just saw the news and it looks like the weather's going to get a little worse over there tonight than we thought. Do you reckon? Would you mind letting Ginger out in the backyard one more time really quick before the storm starts? Stay safe tonight. I doubt you'll lose power but just in case you do, there's a key in my bedroom that goes to the breaker box downstairs. Thanks again for all of your help. <sighs> of course. Well, before we do that, I am going to go and find this key 
because I do not like the idea. Oh my god. I don't like the idea of being stuck in the dark. So we're going to turn all the lights on. She said there's a key in her room, right? So you've got this massive TV and that ancient phone. What's wrong with you? Okay. I am pushing E. I am pushing E. Let me in. Oh. Because you're not creepy. Right, we know. She said there was a key in her bedroom, didn't she? I didn't make that up. Come on, pooch. I don't want to. No, because we know how this ends. David, Mary again. Sorry to call you back, but I forgot. There are some dishes in the dining room that I forgot to put in the sink. Could you get them for me? Okay, bye now. Bye now. Why couldn't I just pick them up earlier on? I mean, I was already sort of like trying that earlier. Did you? What did that say? Hey, Ginger. What did it, what did that say? Something popped up on the screen. I saw it, but I didn't didn't read it. It was too quick. But it's not letting me pick up the bloody plates. So what is the point of that? Oh, we're putting them in the sink. Do you know, sometimes I think to myself, what's wrong with you? Because you don't seem to have common sense. No! I don't like it. I don't like that. I don't like that. That's not nice. And you could hear the click of the the light switch, so you know that that was someone. That wasn't the storm. A door closed. I hope that was Ginger. I am not going to investigate it because I don't want to die. After all, we know that Danny is a serial killer. We also know that I can jump and run. Not good things in a horror game. Breaking news. Breaking news. Breaking news. In Mulligan, Girl County, a report I don't care about your breaking news. A tornado? That's not a storm then, is he? Oh, we have a flashlight. We have a flashlight. Doc! Oh, I don't 
don't want to... Why does the flashlight go off like that? Why does it do that? I don't like that it does that. Oh, my God. Okay, here we go. Basement. Lovely. Nothing ever goes bad in a basement. Find the key to the breaker room. Well, I tried that earlier on. I'm not enjoying this game. It's creepy. Right, I couldn't get into that cupboard earlier on. There we go. There we go. Now we just have to like look out for a serial killer. Find Ginger and leave. Oh! Run! Where did he go? Ooh. Oh! Yeah, we don't want to do anything to scare your children. That's the last thing we want to do. We don't want. What was that? <laughs> Okay, so we need to find the dog. Oh, look at him. What the hell? Oh, he's coming. <laughs> No, of course not. Okay, so that's like the deaf scene then. Okay. Let's try this again. Find Ginger and leave. I'd love to leave. I hate it in this house, if I'm being perfectly honest. I'm closing there. Can he get indoors? I don't know if he can get indoors. I think he's right outside the room. No, no. It sounds like she's in the hall closet. You don't know where she is, do you? You're just saying random parts of the house, and I don't like it. How do I get out? I can't get back out now. Oh, he's right by the door. Where's this hall closet? I don't like him. <laughs> And we're going to close the door. Close the door. Oh my god. <laughs> the game is a little bit sticky on some things. It's not always clear where to look or what to do. Um.
He's right outside the door. He's right outside the door. I don't want to go out there, do I? Hall closet. No! He's coming for me. I can hear him. Again. Again. Right, straight to the bedroom. Come on. Right. I don't know where the hall closet is. He's right outside the door now. This is the bathroom. Not where we wanted to be. I mean, he's not going to want to be after the dog, is he? So why doesn't the dog just come to me? Urgh! He's here. He's coming. He's coming. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Go away. Leave me alone. <laughs> yeah, we don't want you. Ah. Close the door again. <laughs> Bloody dog. No... I'll be honest. No dog is worth this. Oh my god. Did you see that? <laughs> I was close we to the cupboard. Do you know what? I ain't being funny, right? It ain't my dog. Right? It's not my dog. And as much as I'm sure I like my friend, and I probably like this dog, this is not worth it. Do you know what I would do? Leave. I'd just go. I wouldn't risk my life to find a dog. Christ, itchy ear. Close. I just wouldn't. I just wouldn't risk my life for find a ginger. Back again. I can hear him. He sounds really close to where I am. Ginger! I mean, I'm just lost for words at this point. I don't know where Ginger is. Sounds like she's in the bathroom now, does it? Sound okay. I've just been in there. in the dining room. What is this dog doing? She's not in the living room. I can see that she's not in the living room.
Where's my flashlight gone? Why has my flashlight gone? Urgh. She's in here somewhere. Okay. What are you doing? No, not all that again. Because he can do um, dog noises and weird acrobatics and st stuff. Oh, that was close. <laughs> oh, God. Do you know, you should really tidy up. Your rug is so off kilter. Why is it at such an angle? What is this? He's right outside the door. The problem is you can't tell, right, if he's getting closer or moving away from where you are. I know you're not in there though, that's the problem. She's not in the bathroom. I've been in the bathroom. Oh, did you see that? I just went zip, 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 straight past him. But she's not in the dining room, is she? No. She's not in the living room either. Oh, for crying out loud. Stop crouching and run. Oh, for crying out loud. I can't get into any of the rooms. <laughs> Ginger was in the bedroom. No, she wasn't. No, was she? Right, one more go. I also need to try to familiar, familiar, familiarise myself with the layout of the house as well, because I don't want to get lost when that um, lights off. Like the bedroom, as we know. Get in there. <sighs> Jesus. If I just stay behind him the whole time. We know that they're not in the bathroom. Close the door quick. Right, we know they're not in here. Can I go down here? No. Bedroom. Bedroom. Let's get to the bedroom. Dog.
smash that window. Let's go. Oh, it's my shadow. <laughs> Scared myself of my own shadow. <sighs> okay, now we run. Oh, oh, hey, we did it. I managed to do something. As the storm continues throughout Pearl County, so does the search for Danny Decker. We are now receiving a call from Redacted that claims she spotted Decker running through her backyard moments ago following a small dog. We would again... Excuse you, they think I'm the murderer now, running around with a dog. Bloody hell. So there you have it folks, that was my playthrough of Danny's house. Um, decent little game actually. Danny, I don't think Danny's normal. He's bent over a coffee table howling like a dog. Not a normal thing to do is it that? Danny did get a little bit frustrating for me after a little while. I just wish I could see more in the dark because that gets a, that's really really difficult in this game. But overall, I really enjoyed playing that game. I hope you've enjoyed watching this video. If you have, as always, you know, give the channel some love and I will see you in the next video.